Hey everyone, I'm gonna quickly run you through the things I've noticed shooting on the GH5 Mark II. I have a lot more shoots coming up where I'm gonna push the limits of this thing. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to test on the GH5 Mark II. Anyways, the first thing that I personally love about the GH5 Mark II is the Cine D2, the new color profile. It prioritizes dynamic range, which means, you know, when I'm shooting in the trees and the lights, uh, a little bit variant bright in some spots and dark in other spots, I'm getting a slightly better dynamic range. The other thing, the second thing that I've noticed about the GH5 Mark II that I love is the 6.5 stops of in-body stabilization, slightly better than the GH5, and I've definitely noticed that. I have been ditching my gimbal for the last, you know, a couple years and just going handheld with a camera strap around my shoulder, and with the GH5 Mark II, my footage is looking just a little bit smoother, and hey, I'm down for that, so that's another win for the GH5 Mark II. Um, the fact that shooting in cinema 4K, 60 frames per second, that is my favorite, favorite mode to be shooting in, and it's not cropped on the GH5 Mark II, so that is something that I'm very excited about with this camera. And the fourth thing, of course, is that V-Log is built in. I've been experimenting with the V-Log. I'm gonna give you guys some before and afters in an upcoming video to show you how insane the dynamic range is on the GH5 Mark II. Um, so that's just four quick things I've noticed. There's a million other things going on in here. I have a lot of shoots coming up over the next couple weeks. I'm gonna push this thing to the limit, so please let me know below what you'd like to see me try. Um, I've also noticed the battery life to be slightly better, which, you know, I'm happy with that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my Lumex Masterclass below, and I will see you in the next video.